Hey guys, we're back for draft number two of my video this week, card border. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. Let's see, what are some of these cards that I like specifically? I'm a big fan of Bildrazi Monier. I like that card a lot. Um, we got that Chandra Power Master again. An Animate Dead if we want to go for the reanimation strategy. Mm -hmm. There's a solid artifact payoff in near battle sphere. Solid payoff in like blue white control deck, you'll say. If I want to go like reclamation or um, survival of the fittest uh, recurring nightmare. Okay. This card is a good finisher for that deck as well. But I think I'm going to take the Eldrazi Monument. Let's build around this one. I like this card a lot. And fully understand that the decks that I am building may not be the best deck in the world, but the cube is about having fun. So I'm going to try to play something that I'm going to enjoy. Uh, so maybe a white red token stack. We've got a couple of good options here. Portling out first and secure the waste. Uh, I think white is the best token color and red is the second best token color. Usually it's white black, but in this in this cube, from the few cubes that I've done so far, I think I like the red token makers a little bit better. So let's go with the secure the waste. This card is really strong. Uh, we could get that Temple of Triumph on the way back around too if the Hordling Outburst isn't still there. Uh, probably won't get the Bone Splitter. That card's great. Um, let's see, we got Mirror Entity. It's a nice uh, token payoff. Just go Storm Breath Dragon. Hmm. White Thepsland Land is good for mana. Go with White Thepsland. Land. Let's see. There's not too many other cards that are like amazing for tokens here. Got Angel's Serenity is pretty great, but that card's just a little bit too expensive for what we're doing, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go with the Marsh Flats. Ooh, treat the Angels. Um, Importantly, we've got to crank those commands, get those tokens down. So these are the cards that we are looking for for this deck. Alright, uh, Needle Spires is pretty great. Uh, a Myria Angel is also another nice token creature. I think I like the Myria Angel here, actually. It is possible that Spires is better. Because I think people would prefer Limbala over a Myriad Angel, so there's a good chance. Let's see, if I take this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only gonna be two cards when I wheel this, so they'll all probably be gone. So I guess do I want a Myriad Angel or do I want the Spires? I think the answer is Myriad Angel. I think token generators are actually a little bit harder to come by in this, uh, in this deck. Alright, next. We could go with Seeker of the Way. It's a nice aggressive creature. Um, Rift Bolt, good removal. I wouldn't say it's good removal, I'd say it's serviceable removal. I think Rift Bolt's a little better though than the two drop. Hmm. Maybe a Chandra is a nice payoff card. This card is very powerful. I think it's better than all the rest of the stuff in this pack. Might need to be a little careful about putting too many expensive things in my deck though.
All right. Um, well, it looks like we've got a bushwhacker. And nothing else on color. Lots of soul tie. So luckily, bushwhacker I think is okay in this deck. Nice little anthem effect for my tokens. Um, alternatively, I might want to just look to jump ship because. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But seeing no white or red cards in that pack is a little nerve-wracking. I don't know if it's just a bad pack, though. Okay, so we're on the wheel. We could go with Mistress Factory. It's a very solid man land. We have Chandra. I think. We also have Mere Battle Sphere. I suppose that's a token generator. I need to find some ways to ramp up mana though, because then I'd be playing Battle Sphere and Chandra in my deck. That's just so expensive. Let's go with it. Let's go with the Chandra. Uh, ooh, we got the Hordling Outburst on the wheel. That's really nice. Now our deck is more white than red, which is pretty interesting. Uh, let's take Drag Tusk out of that picture. I don't really want to play against him. If we're going to be a red deck. Yeah, this deck might... It is definitely looking more red than white at this point, which might be a good thing, actually. Hmm... None of these cards can be played. I think I'll take the Fertile Ground, because that's probably the most powerful card. I don't know. None of them are, like, overly spectacular. I guess Fauna Shaman is a good card, but... Man, no love for Wolf or Silverheart. That guy's so big. He's 5 mana, 12-12. I guess they just don't know. These cards appeal to me. Just take the fixing away from somebody else. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So I guess the, it's a lot of green mana that's just being passed around. Interesting. Alright. See some good red token cards. Alright. Well, we've got a Johnny Goldmane, which just doesn't get much better than that as far as the payoff. Chain Lightning, which is an excellent removal spell. I have a feeling a Johnny's going to wheel himself. Because there's a bunch of really good cards in this booster. Uh, so maybe, I think it's either Goblin Guide or Chain Lightning. It looks like I'm mostly going to be the red deck in this, deck, uh, in this draft. Which is it? I think it's Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning's so good. Man, they're both good, though. Let's go with the Goblin Guide. I'm not sure if it's correct or not. But... Having some early creatures seems like it would be really nice for a deck like this. So if we don't get our token synergies, then we might be in kind of big trouble, and just having the ability to just be a red deck seems like it'll counteract that pretty well. So we got Beetleback Chief. It's three bodies for two mana, for four mana. It's like a really bad Pia in Karen Malar. Yeah, I think I take this. Alternatively, I could take Batter Skull. Actually, yeah, Batter Skull looks pretty good here. I don't think anyone else is going to take the Beetleback Chief. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight cards around. Of six cards left in my pack. Yeah, I bet I'm getting Beetleback Chief back. And 
Yeah, I like Batter Skull a lot because the equip, so I can just put it on a token and make it enormous, and then if they can kill that off, just do it again. Uh, I'm pretty sure Siege Gang Commander is just a fantastic token card. Four bodies for five mana on one card. Seems great. It's a weird gold bordered Siege Gang Commander. Ooh, Assemble the Legion. And Lingering Souls. And your upkeep card counter. Reach Master Card. Four cards left in the pack. I bet there's a good chance I'll get Assemble the Legion on the wheel. That card seems really good. Um, and then I do have a Marsh Flats, so I need to keep my eye out. I think Lingering Souls. It's gotta be Lingering Souls. That card's just too good not to take. Uh, and then I'm um, giving a Johnny Vengeon. This is a deck where Hellrider would be good now. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a Johnny Vengeon. It's really good. Like Roast is okay, Firebolt's okay. Could use another four drop. Yeah, I'll take a Johnny Vengeon. Remember, still on the lookout for black sources, so we want some like I believe the Badlands has already passed us by. Um, top is top good in this deck? I don't think so. There's really nothing else in here. I think it's fantastic. Fire Fist Striker. You know what? This card might actually be okay. It's a Goblin Piker. But I can get Italian pretty easily, I think, with all of the. Uh, creature in cans that I've got, so yeah. And there's a black source and a Mog War Marshal. I'm gonna take the Mog War Marshal. And a Sacred Foundry, though, but card quality here. Mog War Marshal is just too good, I think. Hmm. Yeah, Chandra Flame Caller seems interesting in this deck. I might not end up actually playing that one. Dragon Fodder or Wooded Foothills? I think it's Dragon Fodder. I like Dragon Fodder. Could use another payoff somewhere. Getting a hold of that other Johnny seems like it would be great. Oh, wow. Chain Lightning Wield. But did the other Johnny not? I believe that's what happened. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm taking Chain Lightning. And there's my Beetleback Chief. Right on schedule. Um, Magma Jet seems like a good removal as well. I like Magma Jet. Scry 2 is so good. Um... Warhammer does a similar thing to Batter Skull. We don't really need another one. I think Batter Skull is just the better card. Don't have to wait a long time. And Offense is never getting cast in a million years because we are a red deck, not a white deck. None of these cards are good enough to play. Gouger is if we had more black. Maybe if we're just like not white at all. I'll actually put this in my sideboard just in case our deck ends up being like not at all white. Because we've got very few white cards actually now that I'm looking at it. Top. Out of here. Yeah. This deck could easily be mono red. Easily. Just like put the gorger in. And for garrison. Yeah, I think we might just be mono red tokens. It's kind of neat. Um, Play Metamorph. I think the Hander Garrison is just like what exactly what we're looking for though, right? It makes tokens. It's on curve. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Garrison. I don't really see any other cards that I really love here. There's some like rats I'd like to get out of the, the pool, but nah, 
I'm not too uh, concerned about that. Uh, ooh, we do have a good white card here. That's pretty nice payoff in Rebel Arc. You can, uh, when that thing dies, you get your Siege Gang Commander back, you get your Beetleback Chief back, you get your Hamburg Garrison back, uh, Mog War Marshal, yeah, some good targets. Probably just end up being Call of the Hammer, though. This card is very powerful. KVGT, decent, good with War Marshal. Good with CG and Commander. Uh, it's got to be caught though, and uh, I should start looking at cutting the white cards, or at least cutting this Amirian Angel and this Lingering Souls. Those are going to be too hard to play. A Johnny Vengeance and Secure the Waste could definitely still make the cut though. Alright, so. Elspeth, pretty big. Great token maker, probably better than Chandra, but white, white, a little tough for this deck. Um, we'll go with Sark and Dragon Speaker if I wanted to do uh, a Planeswalker thing. I've already got some pretty good four drops, five drops, six drops. I would not mind cheaper cards right now. Uh, Stromkirk Noble seems like it might actually be very good. I'm going to go ahead and take that. On fire the damned. Feeling lucky, guys. Ooh. Ancient tome also. Because right? there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards that I can cast off. Ten, eleven. Tomb seems better. Yeah. Okay, so this deck, I think Crafty Warrior is much better in because there are a lot of crappy 1-1 one -one tokens that I don't care if they die. Uh, trying to fire Kaladesh? Nah, not interested. Draft Warrior here seems much better. Okay. Alright, so we're on 20 people for right now. Um, none of this stuff is particularly appealing. Suppose I can take the Abbot. I don't know if it'll make the cut. Yeah, there's a good chance it will. Gorehouse Chainwalker, 3 2 unblock, 3 2 can't block for red one. Seems okay. But. Not token I think Abbot's the better call. Um, Drain Shaman would be great if it was on color. Precursor Golem. I think this card's actually just really good. Might be a sideboard card. Better than port, right? I don't think port's... I think port's okay, but... Yeah, I think the first of all one is better. So we could go with Helix from looking against other red decks. Exquisite Firecraft's better against blue decks. Char... Somewhere in the middle. Charge is not as good as Firecraft, I think. I don't know. Instant's kind of nice, but uncounterable and not taking damage is also nice. I think it's Helix, though. I'm fine with playing just a little bit of red, uh, a little bit of white, I mean, in this deck. Helix is a good reason to do that. Karmic Guide, can't really cast that. Not easy. Let's get rid of their mana. Um, Lightning Greaves. I think this card's really good. I don't know why everybody keeps passing on it. But is it good in this deck? The creatures are a little bit smaller, but... A lot of them have haste already. So there's not as many like really big creatures that you can get a huge bonus on for having access to this card. Um, that being said, I don't really like any of the stuff in the rest of the deck, or in the rest of the pack, so uh, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Right now I'm on 26. 26. 
27. Yeah, no, 26. 25, 24, 23, I guess, if we just put them on our red. This looks like a good curve. Uh, Gouger probably should make the cut if that's the case. Well, none of these guards really do it. Cool. No. Dramoka's command for sure. That's the scariest card out of those to play with. And yeah, I mean, I guess we've got a little bit of token thing going on with our deck, but uh, just being mono red seems pretty solid too. I really like Eldrazi Monument from this deck as well. I think it's going to do some pretty gross stuff. <sighs> oh hey, Bonfire of the Damned. Might actually play this card. It's pretty fun. Medieval Darren. Yeah, I'll take Olivia. And I'll take the Chainwalker. Alright, we got ourselves a deck. So, let's start building. Chain Lightning. Bushwhacker's a two drop. Excuse me. Jet, command, dragon fodder, fire fist stalker. Abbott's a three drop. Fire fist stalker, I don't think so. I think you're gonna have to sit on the bench from this one. Sorry, buddy. First bolt's a one drop. Spark mage. Spark mage is a really good card. I think I like having him in there. Four, 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 five, 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 six. So I have 24 cards in my deck. Let's make it 23. I think we want to go down one. Shave one more. Um, if I do decide to play white, I cut Gouger, Chandra, or Johnny Secure. And do I want Helix over anything? Probably. Then I have to play six white sources or five white sources. Probably five white sources. Which I don't have any dual lands in my entire deck. Which can be considered lame, but I think we're going to be okay with that. Because... Yeah, I, I think it's a deal breaker for adding the second color. But I think that having nothing but mountains in our deck is going to make our deck pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get rid of... Let's see, we need to make one cut. Maybe it's the Abbot. The Abbot really doesn't seem... I don't think that card impresses me very much in this deck. Yeah, let's give this a try. I have basic lands. <laughs> Two swamps. What do I need swamps for? Oh, yeah. For Ashen more Coucher. Nah, he's okay with just uh, triple red. Is there anything? Is there anything in here that's better than Gouger? Like, would Gorehouse Chainwalker be a better card than Gouger in this deck? I don't think so. Gouger's really, really big. The card is great. Precursor Golem's another thing. That could be good. Might be better than the Beetleback Chief. Although, I like the curve in our deck. So, alright, let's give this a try. Could be better than Bonfire, I suppose. Bonfire is somewhat high variance, but it's really, really powerful. But yeah. Let's see. So, if I can take these mountains, move that there. Okay, yep, so this is what our deck is going to look like. Uh, let's see. It's a little bit different than the normal mono red deck. Not nearly as many like one drops or aggro stuff, but uh, we got a nice little token element going on for a mid rangey red deck. Uh, got some pretty nice payoffs in uh, you know Drazi Monument, um, Batter's Gall. I guess Chandra really doesn't count as a token payoff, but this card's really really strong. So yeah, we'll see what we do.